As we're looking to attract new companies in our region, we need to have this robust workforce that is prepared and ready to go to work in conjunction working with our training partners and our development agencies to ensure that we have a great community to continue to you know, reside in. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong. We're having a hiring event and career fair at the Sustainable Opportunity Development Center in Salem, Ohio. Uh, the, the focus of this is it's part of the initiative under the Ohio to Works Mahoning Valley um, program or effort where we are really seeking to connect job seekers with employers in, in our community. We're focusing on connecting those job seekers with industries and businesses that offer quality paying, well paying uh, jobs that offer opportunities for advancement. We have approximately 25 uh, health care and, and manufacturing concerns that are looking to hire positions anywhere from entry level through mid-level positions. We also have a number of training providers and educational institutions here that can help individuals with uh, needs for training. I've been with Flying High for six years now and just now started to be able to get out and get into the community a little more, get out from the Weld School itself, you know, and I'm actually enjoying it. My favorite thing about these places are is meeting the new companies and in, not necessarily in the manufacturing like I had spoke, but uh, more what the barriers they have. You know, that's my big thing, is if I have somebody that has a felony that made a mistake in their past, or had an addiction in their past they have overcame, that some of these companies here won't hold that against them, which is an amazing, amazing thing. Some companies here won't, won't budge, which I can understand that, but a lot of companies here will. I heard about it from my guidance counselor, and I just thought it would be a good experience to come and see what they had to offer, and I'm looking for a summer job before I go to college so I can save up money, so I thought this would be a good place to find a summer job. I seen on the paper that there was health care, so I thought, I'm thinking about going into nursing, so I thought if I could get like a head start doing something little before I went, then that would be good to get in the hospital and get like the environment. I would say that um, our wages are competitive for clinical and non-clinical positions. Um, you know, a lot of us, uh, we're more than minimum wage, um, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of room to grow at Salem Hospital, especially in the wage department. A lot of shifts at the hospital are 8 or 12 hours shifts so that um, you're there for three days and then you have off three days so you can find that balance um, with work and family um, it's a you know it's a family hospital so um, they we are understanding that you know people have lives other than the hospital I think that there is a good balance um, just figuring out what works best for you and the hospital at the same time right now we have about 25 open positions um, ranging from general laborers to more skilled positions of you know robot technicians welders machinists so obviously we want skill set and if they have skill set in the field that's that's a plus but we we also know that uh, we're, we got to train people and we're willing to invest in the training of people so we're just looking for people that want to have a career want an opportunity with a company to grow um, so we've been around for 80 years. We're trying to continue to grow, um, adding more buildings, more properties. So we want people that are looking for a career and an opportunity to learn and, and grow with us. This is very important for our companies to maintain their sustainability and their growth. But also, as we're looking to attract new companies in our region, we need to have this robust workforce that is prepared and ready to go to work in conjunction working with our training partners and our um, development agencies to ensure that we have a great community to continue to you know, reside in. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.